Hello and welcome to my weekly Linux news, 4th February 2018. First off, I'll start with an important news piece from one week ago that unfortunately, for timing reasons, I couldn't include on my previous news video. Kernel 4.15 released. Version 4.15 of our favorite kernel is finally out after nine weekly release candidates. The extra work to integrate all the Meltdown and Spectra fixes, like KPTI and Red Malign, meant this particular development cycle slipped more than usual. In fact, it was the longest cycle of the past seven years. In the big picture, kernel 4.15 includes mostly driver patches, which probably won't make headlines, but that said, the bulk of the work on a mature kernel is often about minor fixes. The merge window to version 4.16 is now open, with some exciting new features coming in. Next up, LibreOffice 6.0 released. Version 6.0 of LibreOffice celebrates the 7th anniversary of the open source Office Suite. It represents a massive step forward, making it more powerful, simple and secure. On top of that, it offers superior interoperability with Microsoft Office documents, which is extremely important for people like me that use Linux exclusively and often need to open documents created using Windows. A lot of new features were introduced. Some of the most important ones, in my opinion, are an EPUB export filter to save documents as ebooks, a new drop down icon in the top bar lets you quickly add special characters. The toolbars now have a new icon set called Elementary that looks awesome. You can now use OpenPGP keys to sign and encrypt ODF documents. And finally, general user interface improvements across the applications, giving them a modern look. Next up, Microsoft releases Skype as a snap for Linux. Skype was already widely available under Linux through official dev and RPM packages. However, Microsoft is now also providing it as a snap. Not long ago, a couple of popular apps, Spotify and Slack, also became available through snaps. So, this move by Canonical and Microsoft seems to follow a recent pattern where the company behind Ubuntu is creating partnerships with high-profile software vendors to have them officially support their products in App Store format. Snaps, just like Flatpaks, are still relatively new within the Linux scene. Therefore, the amount of packages, especially official ones, is still small compared to traditional package managers. Attracting big players should boost the popularity of these new ways to deliver applications as other companies follow them. So, perhaps the big news here is the official engagement of Microsoft and others, and not so much the release of Skype as a snap. And finally, Red Hat to acquire CoreOS. This is some major news for enterprise Linux. CoreOS is both a company and a Linux-based operating system that makes it easy to deploy applications inside software containers. It was a direct competitor to Red Hat's OpenShift offering. Nevertheless, both companies had a good and symbiotic relationship, since Red Hat and CoreOS were the two main contributors to the development of Kubernetes, which is the container automation and management system used by CoreOS and OpenShift. This move by Red Hat consolidates their containerized software solutions by bringing on board the developers of CoreOS and all the software stack at a price of $250 million. 2018 should be an interesting year between Red Hat and Canonical on the enterprise market. That's it guys. If you'd like to watch more videos like this one, please consider hitting the subscribe button below. 
As always, use Linux long and prosper.